We've arrived at the end of our .NET beginner series on backend web development with .NET. We've covered quite a bit of our territory in this series. First, we talked about APIs, focusing specifically on web APIs, and covered what ASP.NET Core is and can help us do in the web API landscape. Then, we dived into some code and developed an understanding of ASP.NET Core's hosting model and application customization. After that, we started writing some code and implemented our first web API with minimal APIs and got a quick introduction to the concept of endpoint routing with minimal APIs. From there, we stepped out and started learning about fundamental ASP.NET Core concepts, like middlewares, which allow us to implement common functionality that executes on every request that is processed by our web API. We talked about how concepts like middlewares have analogous pairs in the notion of endpoint filters, which allow us to implement common logic that runs whenever a particular endpoint is being executed. And last but not least, we covered the fundamental concept of dependency injection, which allows us to implement the inversion of control principle and implement common logic in our application into services or dependencies that ASP.NET Core will automatically manage for us in a DI container. This isn't the end of your learning with ASP.NET Core and minimal APIs. You can learn much more about ASP.NET Core and minimal APIs in our documentation. And .NET is helpful for building front-end web applications too. As a companion to this series, consider checking out the front-end web development with .NET beginner series that covers building web UIs with Blazor and .NET. Thanks for joining me on this series, and I hope you enjoyed the learning.